motocross is off-road racing on an enclosed circuit like what we have here in Ferns. You generally have 40 bikes per session per race. So everyone starts in one line and it's every man for himself to the first corner. In Ferns we have a hard pack circuit and there's a variety of different types of jumps and they vary in length here from around 40 foot up to almost 100 foot in length. So they can be quite spectacular actually. The way to get across those quickly is obviously to clear the jump as in land and reach the landing part of it. But you will see the, the quicker guys will actually scrub across the face of the jump so as they can reduce their height across the jump and get back on the ground and get the power down as soon as they possibly can. Our season typically starts in March and it'll run right through until around mid-September when the, the championship season typically has finished. And at that point, it's preparing for the motocross of nations, which Ireland sends a team to every year. The best result I ever got was uh, myself and two other guys, Niall Costello and Mark Mooney, the three of us from Ireland. We compete in the Coupe de la Vire in Belgium on the Irish under-19 team, and we finished third in the world. Participation in motocross encompasses all levels of society and both genders, so there's, there's men and women and young girls who are involved in the sport as well. So there's nobody who's excluded. Basically, if you have an interest and can get a bike, you can go for it. The bike that you will use for motocross is, it's very different than what people would consider a regular motorcycle. Our bikes are set up for off-road terrain. They have 13 inches of travel front and back to absorb everything from the, the rough ground to absorbing your jumps as you go across them. The bikes are between three and a half thousand up to eight thousand euros for a bike, and then all your kit, like your helmets, boots, is probably guts of a thousand euros. And then you need transport to get around, like vans or campers. All those expenses just add up, and it's serious. Like some people do the British Championship, and it costs them probably a thousand euros, fifteen hundred euros per round, and it could be eight or ten rounds of that in a year. So it's a big undertaking from everybody to do it. It's fantastically uh, sort of addictive. The thrill of being out on on your bike and the thrill of going over every obstacle that we have is really second to none, to be honest, and it just it gets into your blood and you can't walk away from it.